Storm Mountain loomed above her, massive beyond belief. Its vast snowfields seemed like monstrous dragon's wings. The Hood Glacier, which twisted its way from the base of the North Face, could be a dragon's tongue. And the summit jutted above a collar of swirling gray clouds, stabbing the sky like a cruel dragon's head. The mountain felt alive and angry, as if it were about to rear up and pounce on any who dare trespass. Hi, I'm children's book author Tom Birdseye, here on the slopes of beautiful Mount Hood, Oregon. It's a spectacular day, as you can see, blue skies, wonderful temperatures. Unlike the weather that the main character's cat and Ty run into in my new book, Storm Mountain. The wind bellowed. Snow rose up off the ridge crest, corkscrewing into wild white tornadoes, and raged across the side of the mountain. The reality of the storm was far beyond anything Cat had ever imagined. Hearing Dad and Uncle Scott talk of struggling against the elements on a big peak was one thing. Being there in the midst of this violent chaos of white was another. It was Cat Taylor's impulsive, irrepressible cousin Ty's harebrained idea to spread the ashes of their late fathers from the summit of the same treacherous mountain that had claimed both their lives. Now, Kat had to put all of her mountaineer knowledge to work if she and Ty were to survive Storm Mountain. Kat looked down. A bad idea. At the sight of the gaping abyss below her, her brain went haywire. Her mind screamed a lunatic dance in her skull, then shut completely off. Pure adrenaline took over as she flailed at the crevasse wall. Finally, she stuck the free ice axe, then one cramponed foot, then the other. All points back in contact, she lunged wildly, desperately upward. If you like adventure stories, you want to find out what happened to Cat and Ty on Storm Mountain, give it a read.